I'm about to show you. It's so iconic. Like, I'm, I'm, I am actually retiring after this video, I think. <gasps> Hi guys, it's Sarah. So today's video is going to be a Jeffree Star haul. I finally got a hold of some of the things that I really wanted from the Black Friday haul and I'm super excited to show you. I got them off of Beautylish. As you saw in the intro, I did an unboxing because I just had to because the packaging was just so beautiful. Holy crap, I was not expecting it. It's packaged in like cute little presents and I just wasn't expecting that. Like I obviously, when I opened this, I saw this paper, I was like, wow, okay, I need to do an unboxing. But I did not expect things to be individually wrapped in paper and it's like old fashioned with little like string stunning. So this is actually really cool because this looks like all of Jeffrey's tattoos on the like tissue paper, which is so cool. I love that. I already did an unboxing. I'm not gonna go in through it all. I'm just gonna show you everything that I got. Beautylish is such a great place to buy Jeffree Star makeup because they tend to have a lot of the products that might have been sold out on his site and they might still have it so that's where I got it. I thought it was just easier. Also because I live in Canada they only charge like five dollar shipping as opposed to if I bought the makeup on Jeffree Star's site you just have no idea like duties could get you with like $30 or more um, duties. So I decided to get it off of Beautylish because it's only $5 and then they don't charge you at the door. So that's really great. So Beautylish was really nice and gave me some samples that I did not know was coming. So that's really great. Thank you Beautylish. Definitely going to buy from you again, especially with Jeffree Star. So I feel like keeping this tissue paper because it's so freaking cute. So I decided to be really extra and I bought a Jeffree Star makeup bag. I actually don't really have a makeup bag anymore. I was using these like clear makeup bags for a while that I got off of Amazon last year, but they just got so dirty that I just can't really use them anymore. So I thought it would be a good thing to do to buy a new makeup bag. And I haven't really found any that I liked that was affordable. So when I saw the Jeffree Star ones, I was like, you know what, let's just do it. I decided to be really extra and get gold. <laughs> I really liked the holographic ones, but they weren't on the Beautylish site. So I think they're just all sold out because they're so cool. So there were a lot of these like metallic, like gold ones as well. I was thinking between this one or the um, like navy blue one, but I thought, you know what, let's just be super extra and get the gold one. I love that it has the pink logo, Jeffree Star, very on brand, obviously. And this makeup bag looks really big. I think this also can fit the blood sugar palette, which is insane. So I'm really excited about that. This wasn't too expensive. I think it was $30 USD. I'm happy about it. I like the size. I think for this size, makeup bags can be way more expensive than that. So I normally just store my makeup in drawers, but obviously if you're going somewhere, you need a bag. So I thought I'd get that. I also picked up the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Lip Scrub in Salted Caramel. So this actually was on sale too. And this is a part of his new collection, I'm pretty sure. Now I'm gonna have to ruin the beautiful packaging. Oh, maybe I can get it from the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So, oh wow, this is huge. This is so big. So this is really cool because it's glittery. Oh my God, <laughs> that smells amazing. That smells so good. I like salted caramel, so I thought I'd like that. There was a lot to choose from. I didn't know what to pick. I wanted one. I think this was on sale for $8. I got a lipstick. Now I'm not a huge fan of liquid lipsticks that dry matte or lips, liquid lipsticks in general, but I decided I'm just gonna get Celebrity Skin because it's iconic and also it was on sale too. So I think these were on sale for, I wanna say like $15 maybe, something like that. And I thought I would like it. I'm not a huge fan of matte lips, but I think with the lip scrub and Vaseline and this should be fine. I'm super excited about these. These are the Jeffree Star Skin Frosts. I really wanted ice cold, but they're always freaking out of stock everywhere. Beautylish is always out of stock and so is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I got Sarcophagus and Princess Cut. I know Princess Cut I really wanted and then I wanted ice cold as well, but um, holy. Okay, I knew these were big, but this is the size of my actual hand. That's gonna look so good on my skin tone. Wow, these are beautiful. I wanted to get two because 
It's not gonna happen very often where I buy from a US company because the difference is just crazy for Canada, so. Oh, I like that. It says vegan, cruelty-free, you better glow, bitch. Long-lasting, extreme beauty. The definition of highlight on fleek. That's really cool. Okay, so this is um, sarcophagus, which I thought would look really good on my skin tone. It's like a gold, but it's like a pale gold, so I thought it would look really pretty. I'm excited. I still want ice cold, but that'll have to be another time. Ah, I'm so excited. I finally got Jeffree Star makeup. I love Jeffree Star. I watch his videos. I'm such a fan. I freaking love him. He's one of my favorite YouTubers, or just people in general. So to finally have some Jeffree Star makeup is a dream. And I never thought I'd be able to, because I'm like in Canada and I'm like, I don't want to pay like all that extra money in duties. It's just like, so much money it's too expensive but then i found beautylish and it's just so much better okay so i'm so excited this is what i've wanted for such a long time okay first of all i love that it's like a vhs tape like cover <laughs> that's amazing so it says blood sugar on this part, which is cool. You could literally put this with your VHS tapes if you still have them. I know I do. And it would just say blood sugar. That's awesome. I love that. I'm super excited for this. This palette is $70 Canadian. So it better be worth it. Really hope it's worth it. I spent $70 on a palette. Ah, uh, so this is what it looks like. It's really nice quality. I wonder if it's like vegan leather because all of his other makeup is vegan, but it's really nice. This packaging is just crazy. Like it's very bulky and chunky. It's so cool. Wow, I'm so excited for this white shade. Being pale, like there are just not enough makeup palettes that have a pure white shade like this. This is beautiful. I know I'm gonna love candy floss. I can't even like comprehend. Like, is this real life? I just keep looking at it like, I hope I can find a way to use all the colors or most of the colors because I paid 70 freaking dollars for this palette. I think this is a really good like collector sort of thing if you like Jeffree Star. I can't believe I have this. Like, do you know how unattainable this is? I don't even know how I got this. That's crazy. My makeup collection is like set now. Except for Ice Cold, I still need Ice Cold. But now with my other huge freaking Sephora haul that I just did, I'm like set for life. This is just gonna be like, I feel like my go-to palette now. I've been wanting a new eyeshadow palette too, so this is perfect. I'm so glad I got my hands on this. I've been wanting this ever since it came out. Still have the beautiful tissue. I'm gonna keep it as long as I can because I think it's beautiful. I have base makeup on, as you can tell. I have my foundation, concealer, contour, bronzer, blush, eyebrows. First of all, I have no highlighter on. I feel naked. I feel ugly. I feel disgusting. <laughs> so I have two highlights here, obviously, as shown in the haul. I have sarcophagus and princess cut, and I'm not sure which one I want to do. I'm thinking princess cut, or maybe I'll mix both, or maybe I'll use this in my inner corner. I literally just sat down and I was like, hey, we're doing this thing. I have no idea. I have nothing planned. I'm just gonna wing it. That's a great idea. It would help if I had brushes. that knee crack. Let's go in with Princess Cut. Oh, beautiful, stunning. Obviously this looks very pink, but I think it's gonna be really good for my skin tone. Okay, that was hardly me touching it. I don't know if you can see, but that is insane. And that was like a very light pre- oh yeah, you can see on there too. Oh, holy shit, man. That was insane. <gasps> Ooh. That has no setting spray on it, nothing. I like to take it up in my brow bone as well. That is crazy, dude. That did not take very long to get to that. That's insane. And like, I'm not really digging my brush into this. As you can tell, I'm still trying to keep it like really nice looking for a while. <laughs> I'm just like really lightly patting it in and then like tapping it off too. And that was, holy f Oh my goodness, Jeffrey, this is insane. This is iconic. 
I don't even think it's possible to go with a natural look with these highlighters, which is fine because I love highlighter. This is what I've always needed. Okay, I don't know if this is the best nose highlight for me because I have very dry nose. Not the best nose highlight for me, now I know because it kind of just like shows all the imperfections on my nose. I think I might try sarcophagus just a little bit on top because I want to try everything. It's a lot more gold than I thought it would be. It's a pale gold, so I think it should be okay on my skin. Hopefully it's not too dark. I don't think it will be. I think this is one of the lighter shades for sure. I'm gonna try and blend this out a little bit because it's just like a streak on my face. <laughs> that's how much I've put on and that's like hardly even dipping in like at all. Like you can tell there's just like a line <laughs> of highlighter, which is fine. I don't mind it. I left my powder in the bathroom and I don't feel like getting up. That would be a really good way to diffuse it, but I don't want to diffuse it. I like it. It's cute. Okay, let's get into the blood sugar palette. I don't think I'm gonna go overly crazy with the colors because I have other videos to film and then I have work, so we can't go too crazy. So today's gonna be like a somewhat natural look, I feel like. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna try the shade at Glucose, which is just a stark white. Holy crap. I'm gonna put that on my lid, just cause I'm that pale. That is extremely pigmented white. I needed this in my collection for such a long time. I find no one does a white shade ever, unless it's like shimmery for like a brow bone or something, but not like just a matte white, so. I think I'm gonna go in with Sugarcane. This is a really nice, like cool toned shade. It's right next to Glucose. And I think I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. Oh, holy f she is pigmented. If you've seen a video, you know me. Like, I'm very light-handed with makeup because I'm so pale. Makeup can look very easily like clown makeup. Oh, that's a really pretty shade. I love that. That color is stunning. Almost shows up a little pink on me, which is fine because I like those shades because I think they look really good on my skin tone. They seem pretty powdery, but I don't mind that because then that means, like, it's more pigmented. This is what I do. I go in with a huge fluffy brush. This is like technically supposed to be a highlighting brush, but I use it as like a blending eyeshadow brush because it just blends it out so easily. Mmm, that's really pretty. I'm gonna go in with Cake Mix and just kind of like focus that on the edge and bring it into the crease. It's probably not the greatest brush to do that with, but I really don't like small brushes, they scare me. Cause then you're like, whoa, I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> I don't know, I, I get freaked out, so. This eye is so bad, but it's always like this. Like, it's my actual eyelid. Like, this one is always the nicer one. And it's so frustrating. Does anyone else have that? Cause like, I don't know how to fix it. It's always like this. It's just a bad eye. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with candy floss. I'm just gonna use my finger because I always do this on the lid. It's a little bit more pink than I wanted, but that's okay, we're just trying it. Don't know until you try. I actually really like that. It's really pretty. I like pink eyeshadow, it's cute. Um, I wanna go in with fresh meat so bad. Maybe just the tiniest little bit. Holy fuck. That is hella pigmented. Almost scary for me. I put the tiniest little bit on my brush. Do you see that? Like the tiniest little bit. And I even wipe it off a little bit on my hand and that just like, okay, hi. And then I'm gonna go in with sugar cane and cake mix again. Actually, this is not a good brush to do that. I wanna go in with a little bit of candy floss. I thought fresh meat was gonna be a little bit more burgundy, but it ends up being extremely bright. Fuchsia, almost. Oh my god, this is like pinker than my pussy. We went for a pink look today. It's pretty. It reminds me of like the 80s. I'm just gonna go back in with Princess Cut and use it as an inner corner highlight. 
Okay, so I slapped a little bit of mascara and eyeliner on off camera. I'm gonna go through a little bit of the review of the blood sugar palette now because I feel like I told you my thoughts on the highlighter that I just freaking loved it and the, like the whole nose thing. Um, this palette is stunning. I love how pigmented it is. If you are a huge fan of just pigment, you want pigment, you will love this palette. I do think that the shades come off on the little little bit different than they look in the palette and I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that I'm so pale shades tend to do that it's not surprising it also might have to do with the fact that it's a vegan formula so I'm not entirely sure about that like I dipped into fresh meat thinking it would be maroon but it turned out more like fuchsia and pink which I'm not mad at I actually really like this look a lot and like holy shit that just stains so I think that's like the vegan formula maybe I'm not entirely sure. I'm not too educated on that. I still think this is obviously a fairly low-key look compared to what some people do. This is just a lot for me. I went full out actually <laughs> because I'm so pale. Like I just find I can't do a ton of eyeshadow all the time. I only went in with the shade Glucose Sugar Cane Cake Mix Candy Floss and Fresh Meat. More than I originally thought I was going to. So I went through all those. This one and then this one. I really want to try the O Positive shade. I think that's going to be a really nice cool tone, almost like grayish taupe color. I love cool tones. You just don't see enough cool tones nowadays. It's all warm tone and everything. And because of my hair color and my skin tone, warm tones can make me look a little sick sometimes. Like the Naked Heat palette is beautiful, but I think that would honestly make me look sick. So um, I really want to try Sweetener. I want to try Cavity. That's also stunning. Like this would also be really cool for Halloween too, because you could do red and there's just so many looks you can do with this palette. Like I'm so glad I have this. Such a staple to have in my collection. I'm very happy that I bought this. I don't regret it. I mean, I can't really say if it's worth the $70 Canadian right now because I've only used a couple shades and only once. I really like this look. Like, I'm going to do this more often too. I really like the pink. We're going to go on to the lips now because that is all we have left. So I'm going to use a little bit of the lip scrub. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Vaseline after this and then I'll go in with this. Let's try this. Oh my god, I love that you can eat it. Oh, it's so good. That is delicious. Did I buy a makeup product or did I just buy food? I don't, I mean both. That's great. <laughs> Okay, so I just put the tiniest little bit of Vaseline and then kind of rubbed it off. I normally like to put as much on as I possibly can so that it looks like a gloss, but we're not going to do that because we're going to put a matte shade on today. So this is Jeffree Star's uh, Celebrity Skin Liquid Lip. Hopefully it looks good with this look that I'm going for. I feel like with this pink I would normally choose like some sort of gloss. So I suck at putting liquid lipstick on because I never do it. I think I've only done it once and I didn't actually like the shade, so then I took it back. And I haven't ever done it again, so this will be interesting. Oh my god, I forgot. It tasted like root beer. That's amazing. Okay, I feel like it looks extremely dark on my skin tone because I'm so pale. I feel like it looks more wearable on other people that have like a normal skin tone and aren't transparent as fuck. But I really like it. And I think it looks good with this look. I'm not a huge fan of dark makeup, like dark eyeshadow, but I do like a dark lip. Like I do love a good 90s moment. I feel like it's pretty easy to apply. I really like this. It's matte, but it doesn't feel, like my lips don't feel like they are suffocating in the Sahara Desert. So it's really comfortable and it honestly doesn't feel like there's a lot on your lips. I can't even really feel it, which is really nice. I like that a lot. So I think we're done here. We have tried everything. Wow, okay, first impressions. Let's just do a quick little roundup here. Skin frosts, amazing. Gagging, living, breathing, deceased, cremated, quaking, shaking. Maybe not the best on my nose. That is my own issue. It's always gonna be like that, I feel like. I have a weird bone structure 
here so I find makeup just does not like to stick to certain parts of that. My nose is just fucked up so. So maybe not put a crazy reflective highlighter on that. That's probably a good idea. That's probably my own fault but I really do like these. These are insane. Like you hardly even tap your brush on it and they're also huge. Like this is bigger than like most face powders. That's the one thing I like a lot of in makeup is highlight. Blood sugar, you already know. It shows up a little differently on my skin, like a little brighter. That might be because I'm so pale, I don't know. That might be the formula or the, the fact that it's vegan. It stains a little bit on your hands. That's totally fine, you can wipe it off. If you get micellar water, like Bioderma or the Garnier micellar water, it comes right off, it's totally fine. I really like it, I think it's cute. I can't give you too much on this because I d haven't obviously tried all the shades. The packaging is a little bulky and extra, but it's, I mean, it's literally like a first aid kit. Like that's just so cool. I think the packaging of this and the creativity behind this is really awesome. Lip scrub, delicious. This is huge for a lip scrub. Really good value for money. I feel like all of his products are really good value for money. Like they're not overly expensive. Obviously if you live in Canada, they're gonna be more expensive because that's just how it goes. This lipstick, I really like it. Not a fan of liquid lips, but I think this has changed, slightly changed my opinion. But yeah, that is all for the video. I hope that you liked this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe for more videos. Make sure if you are subscribed, click that bell notification. So that is all for this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.